This is the week of January 24th, 2022. And right now we would like to do our Sprint 5 software demo for the Guardian. So just as far as an agenda, we'll be showing you our revised roadmap, our Sprint 5 issues. And Sprint 5, by the way, is from January 10th to January 21st, 2022. Then we will show you the Sprint 5 demo. And after that, the Sprint 6 issue overview. On Sprint 6, by the way, started on January 24th. Next, we'll share upcoming release dates. And lastly, we will give you some information on how to contact our team if you would like to request a feature enhancement or uh, call out a bug. Just for a roadmap overview, this is where we are. We are halfway through doing our our Guardian tutorials. We're working on implementing uh, policy versioning support via a RED methodology into the Guardian. We're working on completion of productizing the Guardian API, and we have two remaining user stories for that, by the way, the most important of which being the testing ticket for the API. We're working on some policy workflow issues this sprint and just some token lifecycle management epics. A big one as well is analytics. That's pretty huge. And we are starting Starting on that this sprint as well. Moving on in the roadmap, as I mentioned, analytics, we are working on additional policies. Scalability testing is coming up. Third party content is coming up in third quarter of July. And our policy differentiation feature development is coming up in um, the third quarter of 2022 in July as well. Just kind of moving on just for some issues that we tackled in Sprint 5. As you can see on the screen, we committed 114 story points to Sprint 5 and we delivered 66 story points, which has been the average velocity for uh, all of our sprints thus far. So yeah, so as you can see, we worked on a lot of tutorial, like issue 355, tutorial for custom policies. We're currently completing the tutorials and the tutorial markdown files and B files. We're working on a uh, user story for our uh, function to redirect, some versioning support in policy documents, which is really huge. So the user can see a versions. We're working on some file upload functionality in the Guardian, schema support, and just some other issues such as you know updating Postman API documentation for all of your community users, et cetera. So just moving on, we will now get into the demo and I will pass you on to Alex, who is our solutions architect, who can demo some of the features that have been completed in Sprint 5. On to you, Alex, I'm stopping sharing. Today, I will demonstrate progress that was done the last sprint. And I will start from the issue number 311, version in support in schema documents. Currently, we are on this schema screen. And now we have the new version link, which we can click. And after that, we can edit an existing schema. For example, add another field to it and save it. Uh, new schema will be created as a draft. So we need to publish it and we should enter the version of the schema and click publish. After that, we have the new version of the schema and we can Look at it. Now it has another field. The next issue is the version in support in policy documents. I will go to the policy screen and I view an existing policy. And after that, I can save it as a new policy or new version of the current policy. If I will click the create new version button, then I can change some metadata of this policy and I can click create. After that, I can edit this policy and it will be created as a draft and I can publish it. Again, I will need to enter the new version and this time I will enter the same version as we have. And uh, in that case, we will see the error that version must be greater than 1.0.0. So I will change the version to the 1.0.1 and it's done, it's created successfully. The next feature is the file upload functionality for schemas and forms. So I will show how we can add this new 
type of field on the schema. So we should select the image type and everything else stays the same. We can make it required. We can allow multiple answers, which is file uploads, and we should add the field name and that's it. After that, we can upload the file. I will start from the beginning. And here is the schema, which have this file upload form. I will select the image. This image will be uploaded to IPFS. And that's it. Now I can go back to the root authority and check this document. And here we can see another feature that was implemented. The toggle VC view between forms and the row view. So right now we are on the forms view and it is the default view. And also we can view it as, as a row view, as a JSON. And here we can see the image that I just uploaded and we can copy link to that image and paste it to the browser and open it. Or we can copy the content ID. So that's it for today, Sean. I will pass it to you. Perfect. Uh, thank you, Alex, for giving our Sprint 5 demo. I'm just resharing my screen. Yep. So again, we completed a release this month of January, and our next release is coming up is on Tuesday, February 8th at 12 noon. So for our Sprint 6 overview, and just to clarify when Sprint 6 began, that was on January 24th, which was this Monday. It's now Wednesday. Yep. We are now in Sprint 6. So some of the things that we're working on in Sprint 6 are issues 356, which are evaluating charting libraries for uh, the Guardian's analytics capability. We're still doing work on this pretty huge user story of public schemas. So we're working on uh, a couple of user stories for that. We're working on preparing our demo for the Vera Red workflow. And then we're working also on completing our API development work. That epic has now actually been relabeled to productize the Guardian. We're working on the final user story for, for that API work to productize the Guardian by doing our internal API tests and writing those for the Guardian API. And also some issue 328 here, you can see this is API decoupling, which is turning the API basically into its own microservice. We are completing the tutorial. This was a monster epic, just the tutorial for custom policies in the tutorials markdown file. So yes, this is all of the issues uh, that we are working on in Sprint 6. In Sprint 6, it's important to know that we are committing 97 story points for this sprint. So that is our, our output, our velocity goal for Sprint 6. Yeah, thank you to the community for reviewing our demo. If you'd like to get a hold of our team at Envision Blockchain to submit a policy request, enhancement, or a bug, here's where you can get us on GitHub, on Discord, and how you can email Envision Blockchain directly. Thank you again for watching our Sprint 6 demo. Have a great week, and we look forward to, to demoing again our Sprint 6 demo next week. Thanks a lot.